right, in this video, this is T's Workbook Hints video number 15, and we're going to look at writing an expression from a word problem. Today is July 23rd, 2020, and I just released version 2.3 of the T's Math Workbook yesterday. And in that update, I have included a second practice test. A lot of you who have purchased the workbook, you've gone through every section of the workbook, and I did have one practice test back in, I think, February of this year, but now we have a second practice test as well. Using the table of contents, you have your math practice test one and two, along with all of these other sections. And then always remember, too, the solutions. You can find the solutions for those new practice tests right down here as well. But anyway, on to this problem. This is actually number 36 from that second practice test. A cupcake at a bake sale sells for $1 and a brownie sells for 75 cents. If it costs 30 cents to make a brownie and 70 cents to make a cupcake, write an expression that will determine the amount of money that is made from the bake sale. Let B represent the number of brownies sold and let C represent the number of cupcakes sold. So if we think about this, for every cupcake that they sell, they're going to get a dollar. So we can write that expression as $1 times C, where C represents the number of cupcakes sold. So for example, if they sold 20 cupcakes, a dollar times 20 cupcakes would be 20 bucks. But they're also going to make money selling brownies as well. They're going to make 75 cents. So I'm going to do 75 cents times B, which is the number of brownies sold. For example, if they sold two brownies, 75 cents times two would be $1.50. But here's the deal. We don't want to stop there because, yeah, they're going to be bringing in this $1 for every cupcake and 75 cents for every brownie, but they had to spend money to make the cupcakes and make the brownies. That's where this second sentence comes into play. It costs 30 cents to make a brownie and it costs 70 cents to make a cupcake. So even though they sold a cupcake for a dollar, it cost them 70 cents to make it, and we need to subtract that off because they had to spend that money to make a cupcake. And let's subtract off one more thing too. It costs 30 cents to make a brownie, so let's subtract off the 30 cents needed to make a brownie. And now what we want to do here is combine like terms. They're gonna sell the cupcake for a dollar, but it cost them 70 cents to make it. If we combine these like terms here, 1 minus 70 cents is going to be 30 cents. So technically speaking, they're going to make a 30 cent profit off of every single cupcake they sell. Think about it. They're selling it for a dollar. It costs them 70 cents to make it. So they're going to make 30 cents on every single cupcake. Now, if you look at the brownies, it's going to be very similar. Take 75 cents. That's how much they sell the brownies for. Subtract off the 30 cents. That leaves us with a 45 cent profit for every single brownie they're going to sell. And again, you can see that up here in the problem too. They're selling it for 75 cents. It costs them 30 cents to make each brownie. The difference between these two values is a profit of 45 cents per brownie. And this right here is your expression that will determine the amount of money that is made from this bake sale. Now, sometimes you may have to write equations or sometimes you may have to write inequalities as well. Check out my workbook. I have tons of examples of every single one of those types. But uh, yeah, there you have it. Writing an expression from a word problem. Again, this is the last question in practice test two of my T's math workbook. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.